Okay, so um, um, I had to find a place, like, away from everybody so that I could, like, um, practice my lines and stuff because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to mess up. <laughs> so I had to come, so I'm back here, like, in the back. It actually starts in about, um, it starts in about, um, I think it's like, um, hey, Valerie. How you doing? I got, you know what? I be looking, my eyes look so low because I be looking down, but I keep forgetting the camera is up here. So I need to be looking up and not down. That's why I be looking high all the time because I be looking down when I need to be looking up. <laughs> so anyway, but it's so hard to look down when the camera, when your face is right here. To look up is so weird. So anyway, um, yeah, hey. Right. So, um, um, I just decided to take a second off just to say thank everyone. For those of you who, who are planning to come today or tomorrow, thank you so much for coming. You know, we appreciate you. For the ones who are planning to come tomorrow, thank you so much for your support. For the ones who you live in another city or state and you can't come, um, I still appreciate, you know, you for the support, for your prayers and all that kind of stuff. And as Miss Minnie would say, for the ones who, you know, you looking at me crazy, you be all right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm in the back trying to get ready for my character. I'm trying to get myself in the mode, you know. What's going on, Andrew? I'm trying to get myself in the mode because Miss Miss Minnie is a hot mess, y'all. She thinks she got it going on. Like she thinks she's, you know, every man in the church want her type attitude. She one of them kind talking about every freaking body. You know what I'm saying? Thinks she got it going on. Thinks she know all the scoop on everybody's business. She one of them kind. So I'm trying to get myself um, in the mode. <laughs> you know, so. When you're an actor, you got to take all your stuff, whatever you're dealing with, you got to take all your stuff and you got to put it on the front porch. And then you got to pick up that the character that you're portraying. So that's what I'm back here doing so I can get myself um, into that mode. Because I'm not really that kind of a person. Although I am direct, I'm not, um, I ain't really messy up. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't really messy. So anyway, I got my fan. Because you know I am not going to be able to take it up there on that damn, with all them lights, without no freaking fan. You know I got to have me a fan, y'all. So I had to make this part of the freaking, um, one of my props. Like, because I'm not going to be up here hot with this wig on. <laughs> my daughter doesn't like the wig. She said, Mom, that wig is ugly. She's like, when you get done with this plate, burn it. <laughs> I'm like, look, I'm trying to be in character. So anyway, um, like I said, for all of you that's planning on come, coming to come to the Strand Theater, you can still get in, even if you haven't bought tickets yet. Um, you can get them at the front door. But you do have to pay for parking. I think it's like $6 or something like that. Um, but if you want to get them online, you can get them online. So anyway, I'm excited. I've never, like, it's something when you do your own stuff, you know, when you work on your own projects, and, and you know how you want things, because you wrote it, you did it, you produced it, that's your stuff, that's your project, that's your baby, but when you're doing somebody else's project, then that means you have to, you're living someone else's dream, and you're helping them to, them to bring their vision to reality, and so that can be a little bit more of a challenge, you know, because you have to basically become what they visualized when they were writing. When they were writing, they visualized that character. This is how the character's going to look. This is how she's going to act, whatever. When you get ready to perform, especially on stage, you have to bring that character to life. And unlike movies where you can say, cut, stop, edit, bring it back, do it again, say it exactly like you did last time, you can't do that on stage. On stage, you get one shot. And if you mess it up, you need to figure out some word that need to go there and get it back on track so that the next actor or actress can catch up their line and come in where they fit in. So, yeah, stage, stage plays. I'm learning. This is my first, um, like, I've never got to see the way a stage play actually goes from beginning to end. So, 
beyond just writing it, I was able to see what goes, you know, center stage, you know, right stage, backstage, all that kind of stuff, you know, about and different things like, you know, not putting your back to the crowd. And I'm learning different things, so it's always good to learn something new. So anyway, let me get myself on stage because, you know, these people over here, they tripping. You know what I'm saying? I got to be Miss Minnie. I'm Miss Minnie. <laughs> anyway, hope to see you. And if I don't see you, thank you for wishing me well. And for all of you haters like Miss Minnie, whatever. <laughs> I think.